point in Valencia next week would be enough to qualify. If that was the equation facing an Italian team, they might well look for the singles, but Manchester United want one big hit tonight to reach a group winning total. They're a team who are at their best when they're going for their shots. Heidrich. Run off the ball by a strong challenge from David Beckham. It was a, a late challenge by Batistuta on uh, Gary Neville. And I remember he opened up at Wembley with a very dangerous challenge on Lee Dixon. There was no foul there, and Batistuta has a shot at goal, and it's just in the side netting. And there is an early warning, both to Bosnich, the goalkeeper, and to Gary Neville earlier. I think whenever this guy's got the ball within 40 yards, he's always looking to hit early. Very seldom runs the ball, takes two or three touches, hits it early. Oh, that's late. That is late. You can see Gary Neville's socks sliding down his shin under the force of the bottom of Badastuta's boot. Di Livio kicked down that right-hand side towards Torricelli, who had the best of gigs in Florence. On the ball now, Predrag Mijatovic, the Yugoslav international. Rui Costa with an early chance, good save by Bosnic. He rode his luck a little bit, might still come for Mijatovic. There was a free kick given in the end against Rui Costa, but he could have punished Manchester United immediately. I tell you what, that would have been one of the great goals in Europe. This is the final ball, ball into uh, Rui Costa. Down to his feet a little bit, well done, Bos, he blocks it out. Referee's given the benefit of that, but the passing movement, the, there must have been seven or eight one-touch passes that led up to that. He's just had, just had enough put, to just put him off enough at the back, I think it was Scholes. A little challenge on him at the back that prevented him getting uh, a nice strike on the ball. Sometimes we talk about United not starting particularly well, but I don't think it's a question of that today. I think it's more the case of the opposition, are really bang at it. And yes, Rui Costa floating between the midfield and the defence. Well, that's where he caused problems for Manchester United back in November. And I think Alec Ferguson's very aware of the responsibility on Keane and or Scholes to pick him up in front of the defence. Yeah, I mean, you see there, he, he's come through a crowd of United players. It's very hard the way United play with two basic midfield players for somebody to say, I'm going to sit on him. Really think, should Keane sit on him and man-to-man -man mark him and maybe Beckham coming up off the side and even it up in midfield but it's very hard because United have a successful way of playing and I know Alex Ferguson thinks that's the way we play we'll impose ourselves on them Kicks giving Repka a problem and towards Cole oh the goalkeeper parried Dwight York couldn't quite make it Heinrich did just enough against Dwight York and Pierini turned it away but a real chance for Manchester United corner which Beckham will take Stam is forward, Berg is forward. Lifted in towards the Stam. Now heading Berg. York had the chance. Yeah, you just wondered quite about Dwight's reactions here. I mean, the, the Red Devil himself, Dennis Lord, that was his scene, wasn't it? Little ball to the back the six yard box, pounces in and takes everything. You wonder whether Dwight was it. Could have been off the front foot a little bit quicker. There he is. Shoots across the keeper. Told him, parries it out. And he actually missed kicked that. I'm not so sure that Heinrich did that much, you know. I think Dwight actually missed it as he came out to him. Just looking even, even in set situations like this, you're not seeing many United players given acres of space. Beckham, for instance, now he's having to do the defensive side of the job. Osito takes. Towards the head of Heinrich, who got in front of Beckham. Fell rather kindly for Scholes, and now a chance to break with York and Beckham combining. York surrounded, managed to unload to Ryan Giggs, who has Andy Cole beyond him. Here's Cole now for Manchester United. Lifted to the far post, Beckham! Just eased off the ball as he tried to prise himself off the ground. Turned it by Keane, Giggs trying to make something of it. Couldn't lift it forward, the same player who denied Beckham, Rossito. Denying Giggs. Scholes. Keane. David Beckham. Turned away by Adani this time. Mijatovic caught in possession by Scholes. That was a brilliant break, wasn't it, from United?
from a dangerous position at one end of the field. He searched him. And here, you think this is going to be an absolute sitter for Beckham. I think he's just got to lean in, but full marks to Rosito. Giggs got away from Torricelli. Support from Irwin if he needs it. Still Ryan Giggs from Manchester United. Brilliant run. Roy Keane! Somehow kept out by Torno. But a mesmeric run by Ryan Giggs, carving out the opening for the skipper. Batistuta, robbed by Burr, claimed by York, felt he was fouled by Pierini, the free kick goes the other way. Oh, that's a relief, that's a relief for Fiorentina, that, that free kick. But look at this, this is pure magic. See you. Oh, come back, does it again. Brilliant, now you produce a ball. And I, I thought then that's Quids and he's got the score then. And I'm still not sure if it's a goalkeeper block, a York block, or a defender blocking it. Old Trafford is rocking. There's a real atmosphere about the place and a real match taking place. Batistuta! Oh, what a fantastic hit! Speed of light strike from Gabriel Batistuta. He's done it again against English opposition. And he has silenced Old Trafford. Oh, what is he like? I said about this business if he didn't take too much time. One, turns, hits it early again. It's got a swerve on it. Bozzi should really have stepped that one. I mean, that's a good early strike. Awkward because it's swerving, but I think there's a surprise element in that. In fairness, the slow-motion replays don't begin to do justice to the problem Bosnich had. There was a swerve at the end, but the sheer velocity of the hit from Batistuta was stunning. There is Gary Neville. Hooks in towards Andy Cole. Good control, good hit from Cole. Oh! Andy Cole has equalised. It's a landmark goal for the Manchester United number nine because nobody in the history of this club has now scored more European Cup goals. Well, you know, we all talk about Batty Suit and Rutter, so, but this is this is Manchester United's own Batty Suit. Good control, pressurised from the back, brings it down. Defender can't make the yard and make up the distance. Once again, you may have a criticism of the goalkeeper. A 10 foot goalkeeper, should he make that distance? Who cares? Cole. Who cares? We have got some football matches here tonight. Andy Cole had actually gone seven games without scoring a goal in Europe, but that is his 14th goal in the European Cup for Manchester United and it equals the record total of Dennis Law. Cole 14, Law 14, Violet 13. Here is Cole wide again. Slipped in two gigs and now Keane passes his chances. There's a zip about Manchester United's passing that hasn't always been there in recent weeks. Yeah, they've started off well, they've played very, very well, even to the point when they conceded a goal. But, uh, that's a good setup. closed out, just can't get enough bend on the ball. But there's so many things going on in the game. It's a wonderfully open match. It has uh, the feel of a knockout cut tie. Irwin looking for Cole. Nice to reach it. Nice to ride the challenge. Went for the chip. Oh, it's a good save by Toldo, but a wonderful piece of improvisation by Andy Cole. Well, he's on fire coming up that uh, left-hand side. Gets across the defending, gets a little bit of luck, and that is great awareness. And I mean, the keeper's a hell of a side, and he only just wants to hang on to it. Terrific vocal encouragement for Manchester United tonight. Beckham, long towards heading Berger, won it well. Hits the crossbar, Keane! to react what good head of that good header right into the danger area
Well, he scored a round dozen goals for Manchester United this season, Roy Keane. Di Livio. Mijatovic. Been quite the intensity about his play that they have about just about everybody else on the field. Rui Costa very cleverly into the path of Di Livio. He just slid through towards Torricelli, but York got back there to help out. Never a dull moment. Goals, saves, chances begging, feuds developing, a crackling atmosphere. Manchester United have the edge in a game full of edge. Batistuta, uh, the man who scored the opening goal, replies from Cole and from Keane. And Sir Alex Ferguson's team are ahead only just at half time. The goal was their 100th in the European Cup here at Old Trafford. And Ironically, Dennis Violet, whose name we mentioned in conjunction with Andy Cole's new record, scored the first of those. Again, Shamrock Rovers, October 1957. Quite a heritage, quite a tradition, and the match and the performance true to those traditions for the most part so far this evening. And another 45 minutes to come. Rui Costa trying to pick up the threads for Fiorentina who led for four minutes of the first half. Di Libio. I wonder whether Costa will be given a lot more licence this half to go and make things happen from an attacking sense. He's done his first year of defending and marking and doing the ugly things in midfield. But uh, his biggest problem he, he gives United is when he floats free and just you know, has no other responsibility but attacking. Because as things stand, with Valencia leading 2-1 against 10-man Bordeaux in France, Fiorentina would be dependent upon Manchester United having already qualified going to Valencia next week and winning there they need to make something happen for themselves I think Trapattoni will look at that and say no we've got to win it ourselves tonight is it a bit Ooh, Beckham taking a chance with Heinrich this is Mijatovic and David Beckham were getting one or two mean looks from yep. colleagues rightly so I mean, he's worked hard, he's got into defensive positions, and when you're there, you've got to play as a defender, and that's irresponsible. And, you know, Mijatovic, quiet game, but he only needs one chance. He's, he's, he's got a record that should suggest that. Still hasn't scored from open play since uh, Giovanni Trapattoni signed him in the summer, Fedrag Mijatovic. Rui Costa has stepped away from Neville. He has Mijatovic and Batistuta in support. Torricelli breaking to try and get there in support. Rui Costa goes for glory himself. I don't think there's any question he's been given the get on with the game, take the game to United. And it's that thing again where he drives in field off his right side. You know, they, they ought to even defend as if they can't get tackled on. Try and force him to play left towards his left. Mijatovic. Gig saw that. Intercepted, accelerated, went past one, goes past a second. Everything but the finish from Ryan Gibbs. A right smile. Oh, that would have been an all-time finish club. But could he not have hit this a yard early? Was it necessary for him to go past the last man? I thought they, I thought it had completely opened up. That's brilliant driving run. That's the time I want about. I think he could have hit it before that. Might have bobbled a bit actually. Yeah, I think he took himself away. I thought he steepened the angle a little bit as well. Now Neville. Keane. York. Beckham. Giggs! Deflected by Repka and deflected just wide. Terrific move. Brilliant, absolutely superb football. Great foot. In fact, you knew as soon as the ball goes in, it's coming in one touch, little curly ball. I mean, it's a good chance, actually. Uh, maybe the deflection's taking it closer to the goal. Ryan Giggs didn't get a complete header on it, but some super-flowing football there. I might just trigger Manchester United again. Beckham. In towards Keane. It's out as far as Burke. And now Cole. Giggs. Hung up towards Dwight York. Knocked away as far as David Beckham. Scholes wants a cutback. Beckham bends it in. Toldo punches. Comes for Andy Cole. Good control. Irwin. Beckham is wide. Scholes finds him. Berg is still forward. Beckham looks for him, but Toldo has the reach advantage. 
I don't think you can have too many complaints about Henning Berg going for that. That was perfectly legal to go for that. He's in the danger zone. Some, some great play from United there. Rui Costa looking to stretch that just to United defence. This is Mijatovic. Gary Neville made the challenge, and it is a corner kick. Uh, I don't think the referee had any idea, actually. He looked across to the linesman on the near side, who was I'm closer than him. Well, you gave a goal kick, didn't you? Certainly by the reaction of Neville. Repka's in there, it's short to Di Livio. Back out to Rui Costa, that is two to against! Oh, the back of the post, I must admit for a moment, although he hit the right upright, but he was free with the header. Yeah, but all the time that little corner was being worked, you know, Batistuta was never still. While this is going on here, he's making movements at all. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's a good kick. He missed an absolute <laughs> sitter a fortnight ago against Valencia. I'll go with you, your first reaction was he did the post, that didn't come out. Beckham to York. Oh, caught from behind by Rosita. Yeah, that's got to be booking. Got to. That is cynical, no question. York had done. Oh, no, he's off. A red card challenge by Fabio Rosito. I don't think I'd argue with this as well. That's cynical. No intention. I mean, York had done absolutely brilliant. Allowed the ball to come in, run it across his body so he's opened the whole play up. You know, there are times, Clive, when players compete for a ball and whatever, and they may be late, but. You know, you say, well, hang on, you know, give them benefit of that. There's no question in my mind that that was completely cynical. Bosnich. Oh, yeah, that's the clearances. Irwin reacted well. This is Giggs. Accelerating again. Now, oh, was he clipped by Adani? Yes, he was. Yellow card for the defender who is now out of Fiorentina's final game in this section. Fiorentina at home to Bordeaux next week. This is Gibbs running with the ball. He's been doing this brilliantly all night. Darney leads the train in the This is David Beckham's favourite side of the field. And it all seems to be at that end in some <laughs> in the European matches. He must have a little spot mark there. Barcelona. Yeah. Here's the post. It's Beckham. Oh, it's the ball this time. Giggs. Skulls. He's bought himself some space. He's got a deflection. Pierini's turned it behind from Manchester United corner. A little drop of the shoulder there to create the shooting space. Yeah, that's brilliant. I love that. That's a brilliant little trick. Neville. Well, they were queuing up, weren't they? Too many, too many red shirts there. Dali at the front of the queue. Giggs to Keane, onside. Giggs. York! Yes! 3-1 to Manchester United. One foot in the quarterfinals. Dwight York, fresh from a weekend hat-trick. Makes it three for Manchester United. Definitely the way to use the spare man, though, isn't it? Played it about on the side. Great crossing, some great play there by uh, Giggs and Keane. Got the patience. Good crossing and far focus. A very, very good header. Well placed. Well, he's got a lovely goal here at the weekend from a Quentin Fortune cross. And that's almost a replica header. To be fair, United have put some tight, tasty crosses in tonight. I mean, usually you're always talking about that from uh, Giggs, from uh, Beckham, but Giggs has put his quota in, and Neville, Neville's put one or two in as well. Chiesa. Ooh, that was dipping and swinging too. There's something about the uh, Manchester atmosphere tonight. Well, that was one heck of a shot, wasn't it? You think, is he joking when he shot from there? But that's, once again, that's doing plenty through the air. Bob Wilson says it's the new footballs. Manchester United have men over in the break here. And they round off the evening in style. Ryan Giggs deserves a goal. Don't always get what you deserve.
Some good play there, though. All eyes of what he looks for, for all the world if he's going to roll this to the left to call. Plays it through the middle, takes it beautifully out of his body, uh, Giggs. And you would expect if the score was 0 0, you'd be giving him some right flack if he'd missed that. We already have, we being England, one Champions League quarter finest. We are about to get him on. Rui Costa, no fee for Fiorentina, and Roy Keane still putting in the leg work and conceding the corner. Chiesa let it run. No, it didn't. Hit by Tarazzi. Feral effort, isn't it? He hit it early, people closing it out. I think Bozzi would have liked that to have been just inside the post so he could have made a, a right spectacular save. Who would have thought half an hour or so ago that Manchester United would finish the evening this comfortably? Move over Chelsea, make room for Manchester United. There will be two English clubs in next month's Champions League quarterfinals. They could even meet in the quarterfinals. 3-1 winners tonight, having been behind to Gabriel Badastuda's goal. Cole, Keane and York reply for Sir Alex Ferguson's team, who for the fourth year running reached the last eight. No other club in Europe has reached the last four Champions League quarterfinals. Alex Ferguson has assisted all along that his team will be at their most dangerous if they reach the knockout stages. They know the way from here. 3-1 winners tonight.